Well, we're here in the dressing room of Dalton Smith, a very busy dressing room. And here is Dalton. Brian's coming to the after party, he is. Uh, Brian, I want to ask you a quick question. When Dalton Smith walked in the gym at six years old, you followed him religiously for the last 20 years, but he always said he wanted to win that British title for you. As his granddad, how proud can you be of your grandson? I couldn't be no prouder. We've always talked, as you know, as when the kids, you think, oh, we're going to do it. I've always said to him, I'd love that belt from being eight, 10, 12. And he, he said, I'll get it one day. And here we are, we've done it, you know what I mean? I'm ever since, come in a prouder. The best of all, I, saw, I said tonight, he'd steal the show and he has. Honestly, I'm so proud of him. Honestly, I'm so proud of him. Have you got somewhere special in the house, Brian, where you're going to put this belt for him? We'll find it, we'll find somewhere. I've got, I've got them all at our house, our grants, belts, his belts, you know what I mean? Let's bring Dalton. Let's, let's bring Dalton in just to stand with you. Dalton, just stand with your granddad as well. He's just getting that cut cleaned up. A nasty cut, Brian. Um, Dalton, I was just saying to, to Brian there that you wanted to win this belt to give it to him. I'm sure you probably want to put it on his shoulder now because um, he, he, he's proud of you. How proud are you to have this support system around you as well and be able to give back like this? Do you know what it is for me? It's like yeah, I'm grateful for achieving these things, but you know, it's for every single. It's like my dad and my granddad, it's for us all. Like, even from when you start young, like they didn't know I was going to be good. They didn't know I was going to reach these. Like they just believed in me and get, and they just give me the best opportunity in life. And you know, they never thought this was going to happen. You know, they just thought I'm going to give him the best opportunity, um, and it's paid off. Like I've worked hard with it, um, but they've always put my boxing first. And you know, it's very rare as a, as a child. You know, parents will do that, um, and they just give me the best. Um, opportunities in life, always put my box in first, not let anything get in front of it. And this is um, what, what happens, it pays off. We know you didn't have it. And you know when you were 11, 12, 13, everybody used to say how polite you were, how calm you were, not big headed, his feet are on ground, and he's still the same now. He's still the same now all these years later. Not big headed, nothing. His feet are firmly on the ground. How much is that composure, Dolan, and that humble side that you have down to the people you got around you? Because the people I have around me, if I did change, you know, they won't be around. They, 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 they give me a slap. <laughs> they'd, be, they'd give me a slap and, uh, you know, put me back on planet Earth. So, you know, it's just the people you have around you. I don't have no um, angers on, no fake people. You know, I've got the same people around me now than I did, you know, when I started. Um, you same know, school I, friends, same, same school, school friends. friends. That's it. And, you know, I want, it, I want to keep it that way. Your two school teachers, James and Andy, we're ringside yeah, tonight, yeah. And, he, and even you know they used to give you the afternoon off when you were at school to, yeah. to leave school early and go and train. They kept exactly. you out of trouble, and even having them ringside is proud of you. Exactly, you know, like you said, I was just didn't. They see hundreds of kids come through them schools, you know, and it's it's, it's the small percentage of people who believe in you, um, you know, and it pays off, and so that's why they're on the journey with me. They're following it, it's, you know, like like I said, that it's, it's very few people believe in you. And when they do, they're, they're on the journey with me. You had to put the respect for Sam Maxwell very much on hold when you got in that ring tonight. And you did look spiteful up until the stoppage. But a word on him, because it's sad to see someone as nice as Sam in this sport, which is a, a difficult sport, losing that fashion. It is. That's why they said the highest is the highs and the lowest of the lows boxing. Um, and it's either him or me at the end of the day. And it's just a shame that he has to be a loser. Um, but that's boxing. And, you know, we've got, we've got to expect that. But, you know, Sam... Like you say, if Sam boxes again, I don't know, but you know, as long as he's healthy, that's the main thing. He's had a great career, um, and yeah, just big, big respect to Sam. Everyone's got opinions, Dalton, and you might not have looked 100 percent in your last couple of fights. You'll admit that, but did that help you turn the screw tonight? Do you feel you needed that performance tonight? It brought the best out of me, and of course, I f felt like I were a little bit flat in the first few rounds, but you know that can be with the nerves and the pressure. You've got to be careful, you know. Sam's a big puncher. Um, but, you know, once I relaxed, I um, was taking that distance away. You know, the sharpener was there and I thought, right, I'm loose now. I'm, let me off the leash and it came, so. I just want to see if we can bring your dad in. Is he floating around? Here he is. Dad. Grant, can we just bring you in just here as well, please, mate? <coughs> just having his ham sandwich. <laughs> well deserved. He's had a busy night as uh, Mr. Grant Smith tonight. Grant, I know he's your boy and you can't have favourites in the gym, but how proud are you of your son tonight? Honestly, words don't come into it. I can't keep talking because I'm going to get upset. Like I've said to others, he's done this. We've, we, 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 yeah, we've, we, we, me, me, dad, me, mom, it's just his sisters, aunties, everybody's put into him. 
James, and not only that, we're going about us and all this team. There's the one person who keeps him back down who walks in. Sean O'Toole. Yeah. Yeah. STN. Yeah. Yeah. Shout yeah. out, Big Sean. We are. Yeah. We have. Come Sean. He don't get Come no, on, Sean. He, he don't get no publicity. He don't get no. He keeps in the background. Sean's just like me. <laughs> Sean's Sean's like me. He you know does what? all the work. Sean, he, he's that silent assassin. He's never on the cameras, but you know this this man believes in me. And, you know, even I believed in him from from the get go before I turned professional. You know, I, I knew what type of person Sean was. Um, you know, it's, it's a friendship there. You know, I don't class him as a manager, I call him class as a close friend and, you know, we're, we're going to finish my career together, th this team here and everybody around me. Um, well, titles around those shoulders first. <laughs> <laughs> sure, He'll get it. He'll sure get we're, uh, we're good friends off camera, so don't get nervous now, we're on camera, but how easy is this man to, to manage and work with? He's brilliant, he's, he's a dream to work with, so well disciplined, yeah, he's brilliant. And we're coming to take over the 140 division, next year's going to be a big year. We're looking at Hillsborough. We want that Hillsborough fight. The crowd loved it tonight. Step up from here. In terms of the, in terms of the performance, Grant as well, and what the game plan was heading into this fight, did Dalton pretty much tick every box tonight? Ticked every single box tonight. Every single box. There was just one bit when we were inside, weren't we? And I wanted to bend and throw more body shots in a certain yeah. situation. But, <laughs> to, to but, that's, but, but that's, be that's fair, been picky. To be fair, that, it took me a couple of rounds just to... Obviously, there's a lot of pressure today. But I um, didn't think it were. It weren't, but I could feel it in myself. And then, <coughs> especially the round when, when, when I caught him and wobbled him, you know, that's the round where I f felt relaxed uh, and I knew it was come together. My feet was working. Um, and from like that point from where I wobbled him, um, I knew that's where, I knew the stoppage was going to come. I felt it. Can he have a beer tonight, Grant? Is that allowed? <laughs> he can do whatever he wants tonight. <laughs> he's British, Commonwealth, English, he's done it all. So I think he deserves whatever he wants to do tonight. And I think he deserves an holiday as well. <laughs> that sound good, though? That's it. Well, I'm not fighting anytime soon. <laughs> Great stuff, guys. What a family, what a team. Well done.